Update. Am I the asshole for calling the police on my fiancé? First of all, thank you to those of you who offered kind words and solid advice. This update is likely to disappoint some of you, as it does me. My fiancé and I have been fighting solidly since before I posted my last thread. It's been exhausting. I called her out on her obvious lie and she fumed at how awful I was for calling her a liar. From then on it was as if she was falling down a smooth well, desperately clawing and grabbing at anything she could to blame me for as she went deeper and deeper. I'm not a perfect man, but in this particular situation, I was an angel, so she had nothing to grab onto. I did a lot of soul searching, and I made a call that most of you will hate. I decided to bury the hatchet. I love her very very dearly. I had no proof of a lie, and I wasn't too concerned about what she was really up to anyway. Our relationship is open, so even if she fucked around, I didn't care much. She still fought with me though. The fight continued to the point where she broke up with me, but not really, which was a common tactic she had used before. I called her on it and she fought with me still. I asked for space for a night so I could sleep off the exhaustion and she got upset and told me I was neglectful and selfish for not going to her and making up in person. I am stupid. I am aware of it. Even through all of this, I was apparently able to believe that what she said in emotion wasn't really her talking. Today I was having lunch. Money has been tight lately, for some reason, weird. So I flipped through my wallet to find my credit card, which was missing. Well you see where this goes. She had stolen it. She cited our desire to join lives together and merge finances and that when I lent her my wallet once, she took it so she wouldn't have to bother me by asking again. This credit card is mine, under my name and for emergencies only. She was using it for the last month and a half. While she has been decent enough to pay back some of it, there was still a $1,500 balance on it that hasn't been paid. She says that it's here just as much as mine and resents me calling her a thief. A lot of the uses were spent at ATMs for cash withdrawals and some interesting ones at the casino. Those of you who guessed gambling were probably right on the money. At that point, I admit I lost it. I am a very calm person, but there was only so much denial of reality that I could take. It's still blurry, but I said a lot of horrible things to her and am in the process of evicting her from my life. I am cancelling everything that is in my name that she is a part of, including the new phone, line, cancelling her car insurance and reclaiming my car that I gave her, and she has trashed. Apparently I can handle lies, cheating and secrets, but who knew theft was my line? Learning experience. Now thinking back, I can identify lots of sketchy shit that my love goggles blinded me to, but there's a pretty strict character limit greater than well you see where this goes. She had stolen it. She cited our desire to join lives together and merge finances and that when I lent her my wallet once, she took it so she wouldn't have to bother me by asking again. This credit card is mine, under my name and for emergencies only. Call the police. Again. This is probably felony level. Even better casinos and ATMS both have cameras therefore definitely enough evidence for a conviction too. Not that it matters at this point and would probably add insult to injury, but also if she was alone. Some people want to know and some don't. You dodge a bullet, it could have be way worse especially were gambling addicts. Better check your accounts more frequently and make sure she cannot touch anything she's an extraordinarily toxic person. Citing a desire of merging finance to take the card had me flabbergasted. Like, this is not how teamwork works. Greater than citing a desire of merging finance to take the card had me flabbergasted. Gambling is still an addiction. She's clearly a huge asshole, but just like a drug addict, rationalization is one of the biggest skills developed in addiction. Not getting her hit and rationalizing it with, we were gonna merge finances anyway, is completely cogent to an addict. Greater than she's clearly a huge asshole and an idiot, who straight up uses a stolen card at a casino when keeping your gambling addiction a secret? an addict. Spot on. Op should check his credit report immediately, freeze his credit. If he gets out with an ID theft case of only $1,500 he's lucky. Original post. Thank you less than three. Relationships are built on trust. Her going off the grid on you and lying about her return definitely make trust impossible. Good luck, original poster. Watch out for a baby trap. Luckily for me, a baby trap is impossible. My man. So you confirmed she has a gambling addiction? Or are you assuming? It's not that I don't believe you. I definitely think she's been up to something behind your back. I'm just not convinced she's not cheating. I'm thinking it's gambling and cheating. All in all I'm glad you are broken up with her for good. How is she taking the breakup? 
Are you willing to take her to small claims court to replace the stolen money? Very convinced that it's a gambling addiction. No I won't be going to court. I'm just putting this behind me and moving on. I'm sorry original poster. I hope you find peace and are able to move on. Your relationship though, from what you've said, sounds toxic. Breaking up with you is a tactic she uses? Yeah, nah. Good luck and all the best mate. X. I think Op has ignored some serious red flags in his relationship. Using a breakup as a defense mechanism is almost teenagerish and Op seems to be fine with it. Also seems like Op's potential self-esteem issues, self-deprecating humor, constantly considering himself stupid, lack of defining any boundaries in the relationship, coupled with her toxicity set him up for such a situation. Also Op if you were reading this, I think there is a lot of infatuation with the whole cheating aspect in this case. People generally seem to be enamored with this concept of an open relationship. But did you initiate this in your relationship or was it her? I don't want an answer but do step back and look at who drove some of the decision making in your relationship. You might want to think about what boundaries you want to establish in your future relationships. And good luck with everything ahead, glad you got out of this. Let's bundle up some victim blaming inside some vaguely psych sounding mumbo jumbo and jump on reddit shall we? The absolute bullshit people extract from these posts to fuel their own little worlds is just wild. Listen up op I can actually see into your soul from this one minor issue you posted about. Lucky for you I choose to fix you, for free, via social media. Won't that be nice for me? I am not sure what you think is a logical leap here. There are many comments in the update post that are hinting at the fact that op might have self-esteem issues. I think if you have interacted with real people you will understand picking up on common signs, without needing a psych degree, trust me. Also op has an extensive comment history in the previous and current post, so it's not a couple of sentences that people are using to base their judgment on. Well crap, original poster. I was hoping for a more positive outcome. Gambling addictions are so devastating because they can be covert. By the time they're brought to light, the financial damage is done. Knew a dude in our friend group who traveled extensively for work. He found out his wife had run up an $80,000 balance on their three credit cards at the local casino during the times he was away. I asked, so when do you sign the divorce papers? Nope, says he, we're gonna work things out. I just have to go on the road more to catch up. I think you made the wise decision. Very best of luck to you. Yeah, original poster is lucky to only lose 1500 assuming, and hoping, that is all he lost, from his fiancé's gambling addiction. He can look back and report all those charges fraudulent if he never authorized her on the card. By federal law they cannot make you pay for something you did not authorize. But they'll more than certainly, if he has proof that she took and used it without consent, absolutely hammer her for it. The bank will go after that money, because it is their money. Get some therapy. You need to have better standards. Or simply redefine his higher standards to include what he's learned about himself. That he can handle lies, secrets and cheating but he draws the line at theft. Sounds healthy. Greater than now thinking back, I can identify lots of sketchy shit that my love goggles blinded me to the thing about rose tinted glasses is that when you're wearing them, red flags just look like flags. R. Unexpected Bojack. Oh hun, you have been put through so much shit. I can really see how desperately you wanted to have this relationship work, even though you knew it was to your detriment. No judgment. I myself did the same in an emotionally toxic relationship in the past, well done for breaking the cycle and getting out. I imagine she has chipped away at your self-esteem a fair bit and it might take a bit of time for you to be able to trust again, but you are already proving your strength of character by putting a stop to her antics. In future your personal boundaries will be in the forefront of your mind and it will be much harder for anyone to get away with overstepping. And it's gonna be better with new relationships too. I love that my husband has his own boundaries. It means he has done some soul searching and knows these parts of himself and wants to protect himself. Greater than from then on it was as if she was falling down a smooth well, desperately clawing and grabbing at anything she could to blame me for as she went deeper and deeper, she had nothing to grab onto. Amazing metaphor. It actually describes gambling addiction very well, too. That's usually how it goes you start noticing all kinds of shit when the love wears off. I call it the new car smell. Once that wears off you start seeing the real deal Holyfield. Well done sir. I wish you a lot of strength in the near future. Please remember to cancel the card. Even if you get it back from her, it could be that she's used it online or kept a note of the numbers. 
please don't cancel the card. Have a new one issued. Simply paying off and canceling can impact your credit negatively. Actually, you might want to get all your cards changed, just in case. You're both technically right. Cancel the card, not the line of credit. The card is just the physical access to the line of credit, canceling it or reporting it stolen won't prompt closure of the line of credit it draws from. I was one of the people on your original post that thought she was with another guy. In fact, she was probably with another six guys all sitting around a table gambling until 6 a.m. This is tough, but I am glad you found out now before she could really drag you into financial ruin. It sounds like she is in denial about her problem, which just makes it worse. No wonder she freaked when you called the police. This may be a good thing for both of you in the long run. The breakup may lead her to acknowledge her problem and seek help. And, hopefully you'll move on without having your financial life trashed. Glad that you finally took this step for yourself. It's going to be hard but keeping moving forward original poster. And be sure to keep all texts and receipts handy in case she files any false small claims. Yikes you sure put up with a lot it sounds like, trashing property, lying, etc. Hopefully you can heal and keep an eye on your accounts and credit. Original poster, this sucks, sorry mate. I ask that you seriously consider some kind of therapy, build your self-esteem up, know that you deserve better out of a relationship. Glad you have some sort of closure bud and an outcome that gives you a fresh start and move on to better things. Her carrying on after you buried the hatchet, proved her toxicity and that would have been no good for you going forward. I wish you all the best. Apparently I can handle lies, cheating and secrets, but who knew theft was my line? Well theft involved lies, secrets and cheating you out of money, property so it's all those things in one. It sounds like a gambling problem and hopefully her family will try to get her help but there is no help unless she wants it and maybe this is a rock bottom for her. Was she on the card? If not see if you can stolen card and get charges dismissed. I am so sorry all this has happened to you. I know you said you love her dearly, but she honestly sounds rather abusive from what you've said here and I'm glad to hear you're cutting her out of your life. I'm sure it's going to be really tough for a while but I really believe you'll be so much better off once she's out of your life. If you need people to talk to without judgment, if you haven't got anyone like that in your life, subs like R, mom for a minute and R, dad for a minute are amazing places. There's others like grandparents or siblings but I don't know them specifically. Wishing you the best going forward.